Apple users got a new update in September when Apple unveiled its latest operating system, iOS 7. If you've installed the iOS 7 update, there are several new privacy additions that may now be turned on by default, even if you disabled them in previous versions of the software. Here are some of the new features you will want to explore. Most of these will be accessible by selecting Settings, followed by the Privacy icon. Location services remains the same as previous iOS versions. However, scrolling down to the System Services tab towards the bottom of the Privacy menu reveals several options to toggle. While Location services is the same, a new option lets you see the tiny arrows in your menu bar by selecting the Status Bar icon switch at the very bottom of the System Services pane. This not only lets you view in real time if your location is being tracked, it also allows you to view those apps that use your location frequently or not at all. Since location services drain battery life quickly, disabling it for those apps that don't use it could help improve your charge time. Also in the system services pane, we see a diagnostics and usage switch. Enabling this essentially gives Apple permission to monitor and track your activity while using the device. While Apple promises this data remains anonymous, you have the option of prohibiting the company from collecting the information in the first place. As we've seen with recent reports of NSA surveillance, American consumers have very little information about how their personal data is being collected, stored, and used. These two steps are a great first step towards protecting your privacy in iOS 7. In our next episodes, we'll look at iAds and frequent locations, both of which are also in the System Services panel. Watch those next at www.youtube.com slash CACR Security Matters.